Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity once again to come together and meditate on God's Word. Spend a few moments in prayer as well. This week we're talking about submission. Today we talk about submit to God's Word. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the Word of God is living and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. God made the heavens and the earth, all things visible, invisible, through the power of His Word. Through His Word, God conveyed his expertise as a creator, as a sustainer, and a savior. There is great power in the Word of God. Just imagine this. God said, let there be light, and there was light. In Luke 4, Jesus casts out an unclean spirit. And this is another example of the power of God's Word to exercise demons. Jesus rebuked the demon by saying, be quiet and come out of him. And when the demon had thrown him in their midst, it came out of him and did not hurt him. And they were all amazed and spoke among themselves saying, what word this is? For with what authority and power he commands the unclean spirits and they come out. James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The Bible is clear that Satan is the God of this world. The Bible is also clear that we cannot be friends with both the world and God. If we are friends with the world, then we are enemies with God. That is why it is very important that you and I as believers Resist the devil and the temptations of this world. The Bible promises us that if we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil, he will flee from us. But here's a key word that we must remember. We must submit to God. Only after we submit to God, we can resist the devil. Submitting ourselves to God and focusing on Him, serving Him, obeying Him, we resist the devil and will live a life that gives glory to God. Psalms 19 describes the amazing values and qualities of God's Word. As you read this Psalm, you can list down ways in which you can submit to the authority of God's Word in your life and commit to pleasing God in all that you say and do. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word that is alive and powerful, sharper than a double-edged sword. And I pray, God, that you will help us to choose the right words and help us to understand that our words are powerful, that you have given us authority through our words. I pray, God, that you will teach us to walk in this authority, that the words that we use will only bless and empower people around us. We thank you, Father. Thank you for all that you've done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.